Module 3, Proportion, Ratios, Rates, and Percents. This is Section 3.8, Conversions Between U.S. and Metric Systems. Even though in the U.S. we use our own system, we do have several things that are measured using the metric system. For example, even though milk is in gallons and quarts, soda is in liters. When you buy cereal or rice, they are usually measured in ounces, unless you're buying in bulk, which many times would be in grams. So a lot of medicine comes in grams as well. And if you run any races, they are very often measured in kilometers instead of miles. So sometimes we need to swap between the two systems. There's a lot of options for swapping between systems. You can see that almost all of them have two different measurements. So I can say a mile is uh, equivalent to one point, or one meter is equal to 1.09 yards. I can say that is the same as 3.28 feet. Uh, one kilometer is the equivalent of 0.62 of a mile. You can also say 1.61 of a kilometer is about one mile. So it kind of depends on which way that you're going. I would recommend printing out this side, slide and having it handy for when you're going through the homework problems. We'll do a couple of problems now. A standard size compact disc, those old CDs, they're about 12 centimeters in diameter, and we want to convert that to inches. I know that one inch is about 2.54 centimeters. So if I'm converting two inches, that's what needs to go up top. So I'm going to say one inch is the same as 2.4 centimeters. I'm converting from centimeters, and I have 12 centimeters. When you're multiplying fractions and one of them is a whole number, just put a 1 underneath. Some centimeters will divide out, and now I can multiply straight across. 12 times 1 is 12. 1 times 2.54 would be 2.54. And my answer will be in inches after I divide. 12 divided by 2.54 is 4.7 when I round to the nearest tenth and 4.7. 72 to the nearest hundredth or two decimal places. You will very often have to round. It is rare that you're going to be able to get just an exact answer where you don't have to round. If I want to convert pounds to kilograms, I have 12 pounds, and I know I'm going to need to convert to kilograms, so kilograms will come up top. It may or may not be a 1, so let me not write that 1 quite yet. And I'll need to go to my chart and see if I can find something that converts kilograms and pounds. And if I look at my chart for mass, I can see that one pound is 0.45 kilograms. I also could have used one kilogram as the same as 2.2 pounds. Pounds divides out here. Now I'll multiply straight across. My denominator is just going to be a 1, so I really don't even need to write that anymore, and 12 times 0.45 is 5.4. And my only extension left is kilograms, so I have 5.4 kilograms. Nine fluid ounces to milliliters. So we're talking about capacity. The only one I have for fluid ounces is that one fluid ounce is the same as 29.57 milliliters, and since I want to convert to milliliters, that's what's going to come up top. And I'll have my one fluid ounce down here. I have nine fluid ounces that I'm going to convert from, and fluid ounces will divide out. Now I need to multiply straight across 9.57 times 9 is going to be 266 and 13 hundredth milliliters. So we have quite a few options. Sometimes you can do use different ones, and this one I only see one on my list. Let's do a couple. For A, I have 12 kilometers and I want to go to miles, and I think I, we, we did something almost exactly like this. Maybe it was the other way around. I know that one kilometer is 0.62 in miles. I'm going to point put 0.62 up top, that's my miles, and I have one kilometer here, and I'm converting the 12 kilometers in letter A. When I multiply straight across, my kilometers will divide out, and I have 12 times 0.62, and I get 7.44 when I round to the nearest hundredth, 
and that is going to be in miles. I'm going to skip B and go over to C. For C, I have 1100 grams and I want to go to ounces. I can choose between two. 0 0.04 of an ounce is the equivalent of one gram. And 28.35 grams is the same as one ounce. I want to convert to ounces. So I'm going to use 0 0.04 ounces. And that is the same as one gram. But it doesn't matter if you, which one you use. 1100 grams here. So grams divide out, and now I can go straight across 1100 times 0 .04, and I get 44, which is not uh, too common that I actually get an answer right, an exact answer that I don't need to round. <laughs> so let's see, how about we do letter D now? And I have 26 liters that I want to go to pints. So if I go to capacity... Uh, I can find only one with pints. Do I have one with pints? I don't have anything with pints, but I do have quarts. So let's do that. I have one liter is the same of 1.06 quarts. So first I'm going to go to quarts. I got 1.06 quarts, and that's the same as one liter. So liters will divide out, and I multiply across, I got 26 times the 1.06, and that gives me 27.56, but that's in quarts, and they want pints, and so I have to think back. I got two pints in one quart, right, because I got two cups in one pint, so if I have two pints in one quart, and this is how many quarts I have, if I say times two and get 55.12, now I know how many pints I have. So I had to kind of do two conversions there. You may have access to more conversions than I have on that one slide. Pause the video and see if you can find B, E, and F. Okay, let's go over B, E, and F. I'm going to just clear the screen a little bit so that we have some space to write. I'll get rid of A and D. In letter B, I have six inches, and I want to go to centimeters. So that's length. And I have one inch is the same as 2.54 centimeters, and that's the only one option I see on there. So six inches, and then I want to go to centimeters. So centimeters will come up top. 2.54 centimeters. That's the same as one inch. Inches divides out. And I get six times 2.54. That's 15 point two four centimeters down to E that was B I have 42 fluid ounces and I want to go to milliliters and so that is my last one again if I want milliliters that needs to come up top it's the same as one fluid ounce and I already have 42 fluid ounces, so I'm going to have a lot of milliliters. I'm going to have 42 times 29.57, 1,241 and 94 hundredths, and that's in milliliters. Last one, pounds to grams. That is in weight, and let's see. I only see one. One gram is the same as, well, one pound. I'm sorry, one pound. I don't have either. I don't have any of that on here. So let's see. We are going to have to convert to something else. I have grams in ounces, and I know that there's 16 ounces in a pound, so 8 pounds, each one of those have 16. I can say instead of 8 pounds, I can say I have 128 ounces. 
and maybe that will work out a little bit easier. So I have 128 ounces. I want to change that to grams. So I'm going to put 28.35 grams up top because that's the same as one ounce. And like we had a lot of fluid ounces, we're going to have a lot of regular ounces. 128 times 28.35, we got 3,628.8 grams. And that's how you switch between U.S. and the metric system.